Hi there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I play along at the Scrapbook Boutique with a few new goodies like this Kaisercraft A Good Dream stamp set and my Distress Inks. First of all I'm just laying out the beautiful medallion stamp on my watercolour card and I will be heat embossing it in white so I'll be using my powder bag just to make sure I don't end up with stray embossing powder anywhere I don't want it and then I'm inking it up with Versamark ink. Once my stamping's done, it's time for my heat embossing. So I love to use this WOW uh, opaque, bright, white, super fine embossing powder. It seems to work really well with beautiful fine images like this. So I'm just grabbing a paintbrush and brushing off a few stray bits there before I grab my heat tool. And I do try to use it underneath my light so that I can actually see the embossing powder as it's melting and that way I don't overheat the piece anywhere. Now it's time for the emboss resist technique and I've chosen a range of rainbow colours in my distress inks. The first one is picked raspberry. Now I'm just using my sponge dauber to put on a thin strip of colour, one colour after the other, blending them on carefully and you'll see the white heat embossing is resisting the distress ink colour and I thought that'd be nice if I just sort of blended one colour beside the other all the way around the medallion and I'd have like a nice sort of rainbow flower shape behind. I must say that as I progress to the end of my sponging, I do sort of change my idea. And you'll see that soon.
Now my ink blending is finished and I'm just wiping off any ink that might be left on the white embossing just so it'll be nice bright white. And it's at this point that I'm sort of looking at it going, hmm, I don't know if I'm really happy with that. So I grab my Spectrum Noir clear shimmer pen and I start sort of dragging out some of the colour so it's beautiful and shimmery and sort of just like you know rays from the sun or something like that and I just grab the colour and drag it out and my card seems to transform into something that I'm much more happy with. my beautiful rainbow sun rays I'm actually quite delighted with the effect so I'm just adding some Kaiser Craft rhinestones I've had these for a zillion years and I'm putting a whole bunch of beautiful colored rhinestones in the center and once they're all added I've grabbed the sentiment from the Abud Dreams stamp set I'm just lining it up Again, I like to use my Simon Says Stamp grid there so that I can get everything lined up straight and then I remove the acetate grid and I know that it's going to stamp nice and straight on my card underneath. A bit of VersaFine Onyx Black ink, stamp it a couple of times because it is on watercolour card and I do want it to be a nice dark stamping. As a finishing touch to my card, I'm just going to add some black watercolour drops. So I've got my Gensai Tambi Kuretake watercolours out and I'm just mixing up some of the black ink and I very nearly end up with a great big black blot here that I don't like, as you saw just then. But thankfully most of it got on the tissue, so it seems to be okay. Phew! So then I just add a few more little drops up near the sentiment. And my card is pretty much finished. Mm -hmm. 